Today we're going to talk about the circumference of a circle. Okay. But before we do that, let's let's talk about let's do some background information. Okay. Um, whenever you find the circumference of a circle, um, they can either give you the radius or the diameter. If you notice about the radius, the radius starts in the center and it goes to the circle. The diameter starts at the circle, goes to the center of the circle, to the other side of the circle. Another thing you need to notice that if I cover up this section of the diameter, you have the radius. Okay? So therefore, the radius is half of the diameter. One more, another thing that we need to discuss is pi. Pi equals 22 sevenths. But 3.14 is, is an approximation of pi in 22 sevenths. Or we can say that 3.14 is pi rounded, okay, to the hundredth place. So, we want to find the circumference of a circle. This time we're going to use, um, in order to find the circumference of a circle, we're going to use the formula 2 pi r. So we're going to take 2 multiply it times pi, then by r. So let's get started. Let's first talk about the circumference. Well, what is the circumference? Well, the cir circumference is the distance around a circle. So, I want to find out how far is it from this point all the way around to this point? Okay, I want to find out how is it from how long? How, what is the distance from this point around the circle back to the place where we started? That's what we're finding. Okay. So let's say that the let's say that the the radius is four centimeters. If you notice, I'm giving you the radius because it's half. It starts at the center and goes to the circle. So first, we're going to find the circumference using 3.14. Then we're going to find the circumference using 22 sevenths because I want to show you both ways. Okay. So here's my formula, C equals 2 pi r. C stands for circumference. The symbol is pi and r stands for radius. So we have C equals 2 times what is pi? We're going to use 3.14. And the radius is going to be 4. So um, now, if if I multiply 2 times 3.14, I'm going to end up with a decimal, and then I have to take that decimal and that product and multiply it times 4. In order to make this a more simple process, I'm going to multiply my two whole numbers here. So 2 times 4, which is 8, and I'm going to multiply that times 1.4. So my circumference is 3.14 times 8, which is 25.12 centimeters. So this is my circumference using 3.14, which, which is an approximation of the circumference. It's close to it, but it's not exact. Okay? Let's use, let's find the circumference using 22 over 7. So I'm going to write down my formula, 
and instead of writing 2, instead of writing pi 3.14, I'm going to write 22 sevenths. And my radius is going to be 4 again. Again, my radius is 4 centimeters. Again, to make this a simpler process, I'm going to multiply my whole two whole numbers. 2 times 4 is 8. However, since I know I'm going to multiply it by a fraction, I'm going to turn that 8 into a fraction. And I'm going to bring my 22 sevenths down. So now I'm going to multiply across 8 times 22, which is 176. And 1 times 7 is 7. So as you know, I have an improper fraction here. I need to change my improper fraction to a mixed number. So I'm going to go over here on the side. And I'm going to divide 7 divided by 176. I'm sorry, 176 divided by 7. 7 will go into 17 two times. 7 will go into 36 five times. And if you watch the video on changing um, improper fraction to mixed numbers, we know this is going to be our whole number. This is going to be my numerator. And this is going to be my denominator. So my final answer is going to be 25 and 1 7 centimeters. And this is an exact answer. This is the true circumference of the circle because I use 22 7 If I wanted to find, if I use 3.14, this is an approximation of, let me put the approximation symbol here, C is approximately 22.12 centimeters. Okay, let's try another one. My diameter this time is going to be, let's make it 10 inches. Okay, again, I told you before that the circumference is the area around the circle. I also know that if my di diameter is 10 inches, my radius is going to be 10 divided by 2, which is 5 inches. So, I have C equals 2 pi R. So, C equals 2 pi is going to be 3.14 and my radius is going to be 5. Again, I'm going to multiply my two whole numbers. 2 times 5 is 10 and I'm going to bring down my 3.14. So therefore, 10 times 3.14 is 31.4 inches. And since I use 3.14, this is an approximation. Because 3.14, remember, is pi rounded. Okay, let's try to use... 22 sevenths. So I have 2 pi r. So c equals 2 times 22 sevenths. My radius is 5. Again, I'm going to multiply my whole numbers. 2 times 5 is 10. But since I know I'm going to multiply that by a fraction, I'm going to write 10 over 1 times 22 sevenths. So C equals 10 times 22 is 220. 1 times 7 is 7. 
again I have an improper fraction so I'm going to take my 220 and divide it by 7 7 goes into 22 three times 7 goes into 10 one time here's my whole number here's my numerator here's my denominator so C equals 31 and 3 sevenths inches and this is my circumference okay now let me give you two to work the radius here is going to be let's say four and in this problem let's say the diameter is going to be um, 18 feet and this is four feet for this problem I like to use pi pi will equal 1.4 over here pi will equal 22 over 7 okay if you'll please pause the video while you work these problems thank you all right <coughs> let's get started so uh, since we're finding circumference c equals 2 pi r that is our that is our um, formula so C equals 2 times, instead of writing pi, I'm going to write 3.14. And the radius is 4. I'm going to multiply 2 times 4. 2 times 4, and that's going to give me 8. and I'll bring down my 3.14 down so now I'm going to multiply 3.14 times 8 and that's going to give me 25.12 feet since I used 3.14 that's going to be approximately 25.2 we use 3.14 that's rounding that's pi rounded so it's going to be an approximation of of the circumference however over here we have c equals 2 pi r all right c equals 2 now for my pi my diameter is 18 feet so my radius is going to be 9 feet. So in my formula, I have the letter R, so I need to use my, my radius. So I'm going to write 22 over 7. My radius is going to be 9. So now I'm going to multiply my whole numbers, 2 times 9 which is 18 and 22 over 22 sevenths now again since I'm going to multiply by a fraction over here I'm going to write 18 over 1 so I can just multiply across so I'm going to multiply 18 times 22 and that will give me 396 1 times 77 so now I need to do this division. So let's see right here. 396 divided by 7. 7 going to 39 five times. 7 going to 46 six times. This is my whole number. 
this is my numerator this is my denominator so C equals 56 and 4 sevenths feet all right remember if you use 3.14 this is a rounded circumference if you use 22 over 7 that will be the exact circumference all right well that's it for this video um, please visit methodmoon.org then leave your comments and suggestions have a great day bye